Welcome back to What Are T Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the Hummel, the tier 6 German SPG. This one's located on the west board of Sand River Encounter and it's under the command of Talon 1958. And yet again, he's trying to beat Angelina. Well, at the moment, he's not trying to beat Angelina, he's actually leading her because he has a second class and a bruiser. So he's in the lead at the moment, but he's trying to get a better lead or potentially to get a ace tanker, which would actually give him the win outright for this week's line on Sunday morning. OK, he's picked his firing position. Now he's got the stock gun, which is very accurate. It's got a faster reload time and also a much better trajectory on the enemy tanks. As you can see, he's already dialing in on some of the enemy. But there's one tank there, it's an M4A1, but he's he stopped suddenly, and I think he's just slightly out of range for Talon, but he's gonna have a go at that Matilda. Rounds out. Long flight time for the show. It's going one end of the map to the other. Yes, I think Talon's gonna have to go a bit closer. He's gonna get some shots on those enemies. Might might be able to fire from or from that water area. I don't want to get too close to, of course, that cliff edge nearby because that might present problems. Yes, the water area looks much more inviting. Well, he's actually decided he's not going to stay in here. The M44 has chosen the position over to the west of us. Does look as if Talon is going to get closer to the enemy by actually going through the village. Now this does have some risks, as of course there are enemy tanks fairly close by on that ridge line. In fact, he's going for the Jackson. Rounds out. Well, he got a big chunk out of that guy for 77 hit points. He's badly damaged already from the 5916, and Talon's going to put another round in in another eight seconds or so. If the 5916 can last, and, oh, he does. And now we've got the Matilda Black Prince. Now, that's the tank we were firing at earlier. And this time around, he does get a direct hit for 137. And he's picking up stun assist as well. And the Matilda Black Prince is taken out by the 5916. Meanwhile, down on the riverbed, we've got a KV-1 and an OI. Now, from this position, it's not so easy to hit the OI, but he's going to give it a go anyway. And he gets a direct hit for 59 hit points. Okay, that M10 RBFM doesn't last long. A Panzer Arsenal H gets him. But having two heavy tanks like that very close to the cap is a bit dangerous. There's a Tiger 131 who's close enough. And oh, look at this. This is what we didn't expect. One of the enemy tanks, a VK-2801-105, has actually managed to make it near to our spawn area. In the meantime, he's been taken out, so we're going back to the cap area. We've got a Leopard, a KV-1, and an SU-100 trying to take the cap from our teammates. Oh, direct hit on the KV-1. He goes down, so he picked up the stun assist of that. We're now looking at the Leopard and the SU-100. The enemy's now capping because they managed to get our guys out or kill them. Rounds out the SU-100. Well, stunned him, but it didn't get the kill. And now the OI is on the edge of the cap area. He's taking a lot of damage from our teammates nearby. And AMX CLC keeps pumping rounds into him. And Talon's about to do one as well. Rounds out. This looks good. It is 186 off that one, and the OI is a one shot. He won't last long, and the Tiger 131 gets the kill shot. Okay, so there's only two enemies left. They've got that SU 100, and they've got an RT, which is an SU 8. And although Talon would love to get a shot on that SU 100, I don't think he's going to get one because I'm pretty sure the SU 100 is going to go down to the EMX ELC. Because he's got in close. Well, we fire one in to try and stun him. And it 
works. He got the stun, but only temporarily, and the AMX takes the kill. Oh, did he? No, he didn't. The 131 got him. Here's the end of battle results from the first game, and it's a third class tanker for Talon 1958 in the Hummel on Sand River. You managed to get a bruiser medal as well for getting at least five critical hits and a win eight of 863, but this doesn't beat his best score so far, which of course is a second class tanker and bruiser. That's the best he's had all week. And so sadly, that doesn't advance his position anymore. We can just show where he is on team score. He's about mid level because the Nashorn did very well with 1,966 hit points. He actually picked up the high caliber. Second highest damage, the 5916 that he was helping, and the Tiger 131, what, 1192. With all three of those players managed to get three kills apiece. Talon didn't get any kills, but he did get some damage on the enemy. And if we look at the detailed report, we can see he came away with a profit of 24,619 credits and 1,386 XP. So let's have a look at the second replay and see if he can improve anything on that one. And in the second replay, Talon is now in the 212A on the Westbourne of Arctic region, otherwise known as the Manaheim line. Well, you can see he's actually had a lot of really good results in this Arctic because he's got the achievement marks all over the outside of the casement. Now, this is a tier nine game with tier eight tanks in it, so he's top tier but he does have a 203 millimeter howitzer to play with. So there's a fairly good chance he might be able to get some serious damage off the enemy. Okay, he's ready to go. Just needs the enemy to turn up. In fact, actually they have turned up. Already he can see enemy tanks off in the distance. He's going in on a Scorpion G. And he got a direct hit. Now they were seen just at the entrance to the um, to the near the um, near the the mouse that featured near the enemy uh, cap area. So we actually named that mouse, and there's a duck on the other side. If you noticed it, now he's got 900 alpha of the 203 millimeter B4 howitzer. Oh yes. 275 hit points from the hit on the Renegade and 313 from Stun Assist. There's only one RT on the enemy team. It's an FP3805 and he's more than likely going to be busy trying to put shells into our guys. So he's not going to be worried about that tree or the counter battery. But Talon's definitely going after that Renegade. Rounds out straight away. Direct hit! 327 he stunned both of them and he's getting stun assists already unfortunately we lost our yank tiger the renegade managed to get the kill and that's allowed him to push up and get to the ramp can't get shots on that malsion not from this position the angle's too acute but we can hit the t30 Bounce out. Looks good. And the shell zips past the side of the vehicle and lands behind him. So all we get is some stun. Let's a quick look round to see what his options are. Okay, he's going for the Renegade. Now, if he can hit that guy, he can actually reduce him to a one shot. Selected the A phase one instead. And, oh, this is interesting. The Renegade trying to go around the corner and he's actually succeeded. And that puts him in that little dip there where he can use his gun depression to pull up, shoot our guys inside. Meanwhile, up in the north, Talon's now spotted a T-34-3. He's almost loaded. If he can hit this guy, he can actually disturb him quite a lot because rounds out now. Direct hit, 285. 
it's always a good idea when you're selecting a target to pick one which is actually not moving very much in between shots so even if he does get warning of the shell coming in it may not be to his advantage to actually pull back or take any avoiding action because if he does it might actually put him in danger from other players and that t34-3 has pulled back now he's realized that he is exposed and he's now driven into that bunker area was he trying to escape he looks like he might get hit and he is talon managed to time that one perfectly he passed the point where the shell was going to explode and they just got a ram kill on gs g saw Meanwhile, this is a fairly static battle down at this end. Okay, he's marked the A phase one, or rather, that's the target, rounds out. It lands right next door to him for 450 hit points. That was valuable. Now he just needs his teammates to keep firing at these tanks. Once they're stunned, get a nice lengthy stun and then you uh, hit them and then his teammates will hit them and then uh, he'll pick up the, the the mastery ranking he needs rounds out in the a phase one and yes again the shell goes long into the left and behind him enemy artie's been spotted i don't think he's gonna last very long because he just received fire he stopped to take a shot Talon's still in reload, so it's not going to be a little while, but I'd mark the ground now because he's actually gone unspotted. You want to mark the ground to show where he was last seen. Okay, it's loaded. Rounds out straight away. Oh, and he gets the kill. Yep, he got him. The enemy RT didn't move because he was obviously aiming at the time. He had to stay still, otherwise his aim would have been disturbed. And consequently, he was a fairly easy kill. Well, I say easy, but it was a blind kill anyway, nonetheless. We can't see the Scorpion G that Talon's looking for at the moment. In fact, we found an SU-130PM, but he doesn't last long because the ELC-790 pins him down. He's firing into that corner where he thinks the, the SU-130, um, the Scorpion is. Meanwhile, down this end of the map, these guys are still there static now they might need our help now because the enemy has kind of mugged them uh, not mugged up they they kind of gathered all around him he's got the scorpion g up here the one that he fired at now uh, he might have actually got some damage on that guy rounds out on his spot that nope, didn't get him but it's this t95 the doom turtle now it's being a problem They've run rings around him. The ELC's managed to get around behind him to try and get a shot at that Scorpion G, take him out of the game. We're one down on the enemy in terms of kills, but oh, now we're two down on the enemy. And we have half as many hit points as the enemy as well. In fact, it looks like our guys are in danger now of losing this game. Because although we're one down, we are losing on hit points. We need to get a shot on that Renegade as quickly as possible. He's marked the target. Now, if he can get a shot into this guy, he might be able to take him out of the game. Rounds out. Oh, he does! The shell hits the rear of the Renegade, but not before he took out our M6A2E1, the mutants. And our, the enemy T95 just put a big hole in the Udes. So all we've got left is Talon, the ELC M90, and the Udes 14.5, who's running away from our uh, the, from the enemy Doom Turtle. Rams out the Doom Turtle. He didn't stop to take a look, but he actually did get a critical hit. We'll run that back again because obviously do like to see if we do hit the target or not. You can see that Talon was aiming for the Doom Turtle. He timed it. 
one end of the battlefield to the other. He's loaded. Rounds out. And he got a direct hit on where the fuel tanks were on the T-95. And he's just been spotted by the enemy. Now that must be either the T-30 or the Maltrum. It was the T-30. So unfortunately we're dead, but the enemy Scorpion G just died. And now it's two versus three. And we're following that Udo's. That's the big hole that was made by the 155 millimeter round on the Doom Turtle. So then Malshan's in a position to try and get shots on our guys. Nope, didn't work. It must be the T-30 which is capping at the moment. Both these guys need to get back to the cap. Not just to get the resets, but they can kill the T-30. Oh, and we didn't want that to happen. And now we're following the ELC. Now he needs to get a reset. Trouble is the T-30 nose things coming from this direction. He could use the bushes. And he has. And he hasn't been spotted. But if he fires, he probably will be spotted. Because it reduces the camo. So he's positioned himself to make a getaway as soon as he's got the reset. Well, that's a reset. And he has been spotted. Fires his third round in. So he's definitely got a defender medal. The only trouble is now the T-30's decided that he's not going to cap anymore. Because all will happen is he'll give pot shots to the ELC. He heads in this direction, he's probably going to come across the Maltian. But the T-30 is in sight. He can't see us at the moment though. He's reloaded, ready to go. That's one. And unfortunately he has to leave after that shot because he can't see the T-30 anymore, and if he goes up this side, he's probably going to meet the Doom Turtle. There he is! Oh, he was waiting for us. He misses. Now this is fun, because now he can get two free shots on the Doom Turtle before he has to leave. That's one. That's two. Now he has the Scarpa. And unfortunately, Doom Turtle ends the game. Here's the end of battle results. And unfortunately, Talon wasn't able to get any mastery uh, award from that game at all all he could get was a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in fact he got seven from that one but his winning was very high 4276 is super unicum and quite a bit more he said what do i have to do to get a first class well yes I, i'm afraid um in that game there wasn't enough stun assist i think you needed a bit more but we can see that uh, when it came to team scores he was actually the highest damage in the game overall didn't get a high caliber out of it because wasn't 20% of the enemy hit pool. He managed 3,468 hit points of damage. Second highest damage in the game turned out to be the Udas 14.5 got 2,773. And the third highest damage was the Renegade on the enemy team with 2,724. So he did play very, very well. 
and he did get a large amount of kills as well. He got three kills, which is joint second place because the high scorer was the Doom Turtle getting four kills. He got three kills alongside the Centurion 7 1 and the Renegade on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, well, only four down from the top on his own team, but he was way down because the winners actually took the highest on the base XP. We look at detail, well, we can see that he actually came away with a profit of 161 credits from the game. Not a huge amount, but he also got 775 XP and 25 bonds because he got a mission achievement. But see, there's the problem. Not enough stun assists. Uh, 11 stuns, but just not enough stun assists to actually make the difference and enable him to get a mastery class in that game. So sadly, no improvement in this second video and his um, the lead actually stays with him uh, on that uh, game on Glacier where he got the Gorilla, a second class tanker, a win eight of 2,118 and a bruiser medal. That's all he's got for the moment. If Angelina comes up with a first class tanker, she beats him straight away. So he does need to keep playing to maintain his lead. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.